It's a good day for theropods. Rahu Tatal 2018 reports some very interesting discoveries from the dinosaur coast in Asturias, Spain, one of which is a gigantic anterior caudal vertebra. Specimen name. Muja 1913. Type. Second or third caudal vertebra. According to the study's authors, it displays dramatically different physical characteristics from contemporary ceratosaurids, but is extremely similar to Megalosaurus and Torvosaurus. It's also 150 millimeters tall. Okay, sure, that might not seem very big on its own, but Rauhut's team have some comparisons to show us. This interior caudal vertebra is 25% larger than its equivalent in Torvosaurus teneri, and 15% larger than that of the Torvosaurus grenei holotype. It's 25% bigger than the Tendaguru carcrodontosaurid, and even has a 10% advantage over the Spinosaurus holotype Stromer reported 100 years ago. Yeah, not bad, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's still smaller than the huge Carcodontosaurids, and smaller than Tyrannosaurus, and potentially not as huge as the giant Morris and Allosaurus. Rauhut's team estimates its length at at least 10 meters, and state that it's the largest skeletal evidence of a theropod in Europe. Skeletal evidence is the key phrase here. The paper continues further into the realms of awesomeness with the description of two sets of giant, as in 50 centimeter plus, theropod tracks from the same depositional environment. The two morphotypes, creatively named A and B, are separated by robustness. A is the more robust of the groups and includes four tracks, while Gracile Group B has three. Group A is also more likely to have been made by megalosaurids, as explained here. The notable robustness of megalosaurian megalosaurids fits well with the described robust morphotypes, whereas more slender large theropod tracks might have been made by a variety of basal tetanurans, including allosaurids, matricanthosaurids, or afrovenatorian megalosaurids, or even exceptionally large ceratosaurs. Thick tracks equal most likely megalosaurids, got it. Now for what the title of the video promised. The biggest of the morphotype A-Trax is referred to as the Ole specimen. It was 66 centimeters wide and 82 centimeters long. Objectively, that's just an enormous footprint. But in comparison, we realize how ginormous it actually was. Rauhut's team writes that the largest theropod track makers from the Jurassic of Asturias were thus similar in size to Tyrannosaurus rex, based on known fossil prints of that taxon. Obviously, there's a significant robusticity difference between Tyrannosaurs and Megalosaurs, but still, the evidence for 10 to 12 meter megalosaurs in Jurassic Europe is really exciting. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and join the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividen out.